Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. Hope you're doing well. My name is Todd. This is Daisy Johnson and Daniel Souza from Agent Carter and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This video is requested by a ToddReacts.com member. You two can join today. Link it down below. Description will get you there. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Hit that notification bell. That way you know when videos post immediately. You can come check it out. And let's go. Daniel Sousa. Who's that? He's Peggy Carter's old partner. You catch your name? Sweetheart? This is... Her fiance. Who the hell are you? Who I am is on a need to know basis. <laughs> I need to know. No, you don't. Because I don't exist and we never met. You think because of... I'm wearing a suit and I got a pink yeah. shirt for different. I'm not. For both people, nobody cared about. There was someone who couldn't stick around long enough to make it last. You don't get to choose who cares about it. Similar story. You wanted to hear my story, right? The war has damaged us all, has it not, Agent Souza? The shield. After I got hit. At the field hospital, the chaplain asked me. Was there anybody I wanted to send my effects to? Sure. You know, the worst happened. Looks like I missed the line. Obviously, some wish I could have said some goodbyes. Daniel. You're one of the lucky ones. Hydra took a lot of good people from me. I think you're in love with her. Aren't you, Daniel? You again. How'd you know that? See, I you know all. Told you we're the good guys. <laughs> Even about you, Mr. Sousa. That's terrifying. I'm not sure it was more frustrating that you won't tell me how you know what you know, or you're telling me I can't act, though. Why are you really here? Close to me, ends up dying. What do you mean this happened before? Jay! Steer clear. It's so beautiful. I can't. I'll explain later. Let's go. He died for me. Sounds like you were really in love with this guy. Kind of still am. Daisy. Jay. Which is why I I can't lose someone else. Yeah. yeah gotcha. Daisy, you should be resting. This is a fight I'll wage alone if I have to. I'm going with her. Give it up. No girl's gonna trade in a red, white, and blue shield for an aluminum crutch. I think this is my last stop. Stay awake, okay? Honey, I think we need to go. <sighs> you look okay for a guy who just aged 20 years. <laughs> we are as lucky. Susan pulled me out of the wreckage. Got us home. We're going home, Agent Johnson. You hear me? This is Agent Daisy Johnson. Let him remember my life, you know? I'm coming home. We're going home. I'm glad he's here. Last chance if you put the light back in your eyes. I'm where I need to be. No one's ever looked at me that way. That was sweet. Link down below in the description for the original video. Go throw it some love. All right, so obviously I'm lacking quite a bit of context in regards to their love story, their interest, anything. So in season five, they did a bit of a time travel and did a crossover, which is very neat. Interesting concept. I love the fact that they're willing to do crossovers. It just, it makes the fans happy. 
I'm sure it's fun for the writers to kind of figure out how exactly to do it. So according to ToddReacts.com member, season five of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., there's a lot of time travel shenanigans. Daisy Johnson's character ends up traveling back in time to meet Sousa in the 1950s. I'm trying to think just how weird of an experience that would be, traveling back to the 50s. Cars would look pretty cool. 1950s cars are pretty awesome. Lots of stainless steel, lots of chrome. <laughs> They're heavy. They're heavy and huge, but uh, very interesting. And no, I think in the 50s, there wasn't any power steering, right? So it took a lot of effort to move the wheel. Obviously, everyone was dressing nicer. You had to wear, you know, dresses and suits just randomly, you know, and I think of Mad Men when I think of this. It's, you know, you're wearing like sweaters and khakis and dress shoes or like loafers on the weekends and it's just like that is that's a lot of work <laughs> that's when fashion just never quit there's just always time to look good society's a little different the people are a little different it would be interesting you would definitely be looked at like a social pariah for sure for sure <laughs> Within opening your mouth for probably two seconds, <laughs> people would be like, what? Other than the complete lack of network capabilities and internet and everything like that, whipping out like a current gen iPhone or Android would just be incredible <laughs> to see people's reactions to it, like swiping with their finger and stuff. That would have been like Jetsons level sci-fi. Like that would have been crazy. Crazy. I can't even imagine pulling down menus and swiping between screens and oh my gosh. Let alone if the internet worked, that would whew. always loved Peggy and Steve Rogers romance. I thought it was super cool that Steve went back in time during Endgame and stayed there and had a nice family, a nice life with Peggy, and that was a fitting ending, is what that was. That was beautiful. It at first you're just like, no, what? Where's where's Captain America? But then you're just like, you know what? He had a great life. He had a great life. He made the most of it. And he got that dance, which is very important because that was keeping him going for all of those movies. Looking forward to any and all context because I need a lot of it. ToddReacts.com, you can request your own videos. You can buy some merch. You can also check out these full-length episode reactions available now. I'll see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.